Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today's video sums up why you should, without question, ask your audiologist to activate the telecoil in your next audiology appointment. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that grey notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Starting with a very brief history of the telecoil. Did you know that the T-coil isn't something new? In fact, it was first patented over in the UK almost a century ago, and it first made it into body-worn hearing aids from 1938, which, believe it or not, was the same year that Evil Knievel and Kenny Rogers were born and when Franklin D. Roosevelt was the president of the US. As behind-the-ear hearing aids began to develop in the 1970s, as did the first rendition of wireless hearing aid technology in the form of the telecoil. But what exactly is a telecoil? A T-coil is a very small metal coil which is commonly built into hearing aids and could well be built inside the hearing aid that you're wearing right now without you even realising. It acts as a small receiver which picks up signals from a loop system that acts as an electromagnetic field which is usually connected to a sound source such as a microphone. Once this sound is picked up by the user's hearing aid, the signal is then amplified to compensate for that individual's hearing loss and provides a signal over and above the surrounding background noise. Now for the same information, but in English, when a hearing aid user's hearing aid is set to the T position, the telecoil connects the user's hearing aids to that external microphone. So what does this mean in practice? This means that if a hearing aid user is in church, for example, and there's a microphone at the altar, the voice of the person speaking is then sent to the user's hearing aids and doesn't have to travel the entire distance via sound waves to the hearing aid microphones. This would give you, the hearing aid user, the feeling that you're sat in the front row no matter where you're sat in the entire church. As a result, this reduces the level of environmental noise for the hearing aid user, making it easier to hear from a distance and also in background noise. There's also no limit to the number of hearing aid users that can connect to a loop system at once. And there's also no difficult pairing process needed to connect to it. Here is a really good example of the difference that a loop system can make in a public space. This first clip that I'll play to you now is a presenter talking at a distance in a noisy room. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're offering the following activities. Now, the second sound file is the same presentation, however, using a loop system. You will note a huge reduction in terms of the background noise and a far more clear and distinct signal. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're offering the following activities. It's really common to find them built into theatres, cinemas, banks or lecture halls, and you can even find them built into the heads of landline telephones. In fact, I imagine that you've all seen this internationally recognised sign in all of those venues telling you that the loop system is installed and that you need to activate your T setting on your hearing aids to access it. Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm telling you where you'll find a loop system, as there's an awesome website out there called Loop Finder, which is available in web form and as an app. Loop Finder, which is supported by the Hearing Loss Association of America, allows you to search by the type of venue, whether it's a house of worship, library or healthcare setting for locations with a loop system installed just to make your life easier. Simply click on the type of venue that you're after and zoom in on the map. On the other hand, if you're watching this and run a venue with a loop system already installed, then I would recommend getting in touch with Otojoy, who run the website, using the request slash add a loop tab on the top of the screen, and you should be able to have your site published on the Loop Finder website. Now, when it comes to setting up a T-coil, there are two main choices that I give my patients. Firstly, the T-setting. As I mentioned, when the telecoil is activated, the hearing aids are connected to the microphone at the front of the venue. And in this instance, the environmental microphones on the hearing aids would be muted, meaning that the hearing aid user wouldn't be able to hear anything that was happening next to them. In theory, this is great, and there are definitely certain circumstances where it would be advantageous to set up the loop system in this fashion, as it allows you to give your full focus to the source of the sound that you want to hear, i.e. the show at the theatre. However, the downside of this method is that if you're sat next to your partner at the theatre and want to say something to each other about what's happening on stage, then it wouldn't be possible to communicate with them due to your microphones being disabled. That's why I find that the M plus T setting works really well with M standing for the microphone and T standing for telecoil. 
Instead of having your microphones muted on the hearing aids, it's possible for your audiologist to therefore keep them activated. However, they can be set to attenuate the environmental sounds around you, meaning that whilst you'll still hear somebody sat next to you at the theatre, it won't be quite as intrusive as if you were on the normal listening programme. This therefore gives you the best of both worlds so that you're able to hear the clarity of the person on stage, plus listen to your partner when they have something exciting to say to you. So the burning question, which hearing aids have the telecoil built in? In fact, every hearing aid manufacturer has a hearing aid with a loop system built into it. However, one of the limiting factors is size. So if a particular hearing aid model's focus is cosmetics or size, then the loop system is often one of the things to be removed from those particular hearing aids. So definitely ask your audiologist which model it's in, as it shouldn't cost you any more than the model without. Currently, the telecoil is a feature in the Phonak Paradise, Starkey Evolve, Oticon Moore, Widex Moment, Resound Ones, and Signia AX hearing aids, the majority of which need to be the receiver in the canal or behind the ear models. As I always like to give a balanced view here on Hearing Tracker, it's important that I mention some of the downsides that come along with the telecoil too. Firstly, due to the somewhat limited bandwidth of the telecoil's transmission signal, music can sometimes appear a little bit distorted as the loop system doesn't allow for the transmission of some of the more higher frequency signals present in music. Second of all, if you're using the loop system in a public space, the signal can sometimes vary depending on your position within that pickup area. Therefore, there can sometimes be weak spots for the signal to come through. Other than that, I think it's a no-brainer that you should have it activated in your hearing aids. So if you're interested in having your telecoil activated, I will get in touch with your audiologist right after this video and check to see whether the T-coil feature is available in your current set of hearing aids. And if so, get them to activate it. The best thing about it is that it's already present in your hearing aid, it should cost you nothing whatsoever for this incredible feature. I hope that you found this video useful, guys. If you have any further questions, then please drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in watching more videos and helpful tips like this one. I'll see you in the next video.